good. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if Sam is gonna be able to make it today, but let's just kick the ball and see how far we can we can take it. I'm pretty sure a couple of members will join as well. Well, I've only managed to make it to like was it? I think it's about seventy percent of the Odata videos because I've had a busy week. I had planned to obviously watch them all when I asked to participate because I didn't want to be like that idiot who's just like, uh, what does this button do? <laughs> <laughs> the entire place just comes crashing down. Yeah, just just to, you know, for, you know, we had quite an, you know, kind of a, a mass rush of uh, subscribers to our channel because I kind of, I'm diversifying the content mm. and all that. So So just for the people watching, uh, this is a these are the one of these longer sessions where we actually sit down together and actually document the engineering experience. We are actually sitting down trying to solve a problem of uh, redefining uh, the OData protocol uh, in the midst of rewriting it as well and kind of reconceptualizing how it works. We're recording this experience because uh, oftentimes, like personally for me, the product is great. But I actually enjoy the experience itself more, and that's why I'm recording. I'm recording these sessions so people get to see how engineers are actually uh, kind of uh, processing and working with things and all that. So uh, this is for, so so Callum. Uh, you know, thank you for kind of taking a look at the at the you know uh, previous sessions or at least some of them. That's great. I uh, apologize. It wasn't the mall. No, it's okay, man. It's, it's a lot of sessions. I think we hit like, did we hit 70 or was it like yeah, 60? Yeah, you, you, you hit like 70 odd. Oh my lord. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff. So I don't expect, you know, I honestly am, you know, quite uh, happy that you kind of took the time. What's more important than, uh, than the sessions, you get to know engineers how they really are. And you'll see a lot of, <laughs> little embarrassing moments there every now and then and people getting angry and you know all that kind of stuff well that's what software engineering is so um i think there is there's like an open an open pull request here from it seems fairly straightforward right i can't see issues here that's that's wordy i what where's the changes <laughs> oh so i guess Paul is... file renamed without any changes oh that's it just the file rename right yeah Projection service tests that exceptions. Projection. Oh, there's a typo in exceptions. That's why accept ons to exceptions. Uh, yeah, it's it's a little French. It's a little French. Yeah. Gotta put a little bit of French in there. Okay, cool. Oh. Let me merge that in. So so here's where we at, right? Um we we are getting super close because we have most of the components. Let me pull the architecture here real quick, just to kind of get people on the same page in terms of well at least this will like act as like a was it a season recap <laughs> yeah this is the season recap this is literally <laughs> that's right so this is here let's see here this is um we had a certain point in time where we had a token tokenization and projection service and we put an orchestration service we started getting sick of like I hope Hassan saves the architecture somewhere, you know, so he doesn't have to rebuild it every time. <laughs> but you know, the reason actually I'm doing this is because I want people to follow through instead of just throw throwing a, a blurb in front of you and be like, "Here's everything," you know. <laughs> instead, I'm saying, "Hey, you know, here's here's the deal. Here's what we can do." Okay, so uh, we had we had a tokenization service. Yeah, and then we had a projection service. Yeah, I've gotten that far. O tokenization service, right? And then this is the O tokenization orchestration service, right? And then we had down here we had the uh, I think we called it SQL Server service. Let's see here. This is score. Wasn't it like O SQL? Yeah, we had SQL queries and then OC. That's right. So foundations. Yeah, we had O SQL and O expressions and O queries. Yeah, right? Rachel, Paul told me that he had like something to do with O SQL, and he was like, "I can't believe Hassan was mad enough to take me on that." <laughs> <laughs> that's right. O expressions. 
right? Uh, org expression service, and then we also had the org query, org query service, right? And all of these are done. Like we kind of gotten to the point where, you know, we just need an orchestration. I don't even know. I think we already, uh, I think Paul and I talked at least a little bit. So this is OData orchestration service, right? Ideally, we're going to need a coordination service to sit in here. And this coordination service will basically expose the, all these contracts, right? So this mm. is OData coordination service. See, this is all off the top of my head. That's that's the greatness of the standard. You don't know, you don't have to go and say, well, it's been a while. I don't remember. I swear I didn't study. I didn't review anything. That's that's the beauty <laughs> about these sessions, right? Well, and I, I know to... that all yeah, I know all of these are green. I know all of these are green. They have their own. You know, some of these have their own brokers and stuff. And then about this orchestration service, right? This orchestration service, is it done? Let's take a look. I see only the tokenization orchestration service. Okay, so that makes sense. So this is the service that we actually need to start. And the idea here, just to kind of refresh people's memory, what I'm trying to do is to send in a raw OData query. And this raw OData query will go through the system the raw all data query will go like this, and then it will go all the way to get tokenized, projected, and then O tokenized comes back up here. We send it down here, right? And then we extract an expression, and then we take that expression, we give it to O SQL. O SQL turns it into a SQL statement for us, and then it goes right out from the other side. So that basically takes care of converting an O data query into an expression into an yeah. actual expression and then we can do it the other way around i think that the trick part is to basically go back and say here is an expression that's coming back turn it into sql and then turn it into a an o data query which like high high level view ideally we want a thing that's sitting here this is o data o data neo and we want a we want someone to send in O data from here, O data query. Watch this, and then I want it to come out from the other side as O data query. Mm. So this is the transcendence part. This is the part where we go and say a query is coming in through the API, going through O data Neo, gets all this conversion and all that, and then it gets converted internally. It turns into this I queryable or expression that we can do whatever we want with it. And then we take that expression. Now, if we can do that, that means that this OData query can be split into multiple queries at yeah. some point in time. We can fan it out and then bring it back in and then add all of this on top of us. The order of these queries is going to be super important because when you say where student equals column and then where after that, it, it, where score is over 100, it's a lot different than saying where score over the 100 and then the student name is column. You can get a huge performance degradation mm -hmm. there based on how you're structuring uh, your query. So, so this is where we at, right? And I think mm -hmm. that we are in a place in here where we can actually easily take the existing foundation services and components and actually convert those into a an orchestration service API which we will have to coordinate and then expose. We can actually get, truly, we can get an alpha release or yeah. O data, you know, sometime probably before March, probably even, you know, somewhere mm -hmm. in mid-February mid or even before then. What do you think about that, Callum? Do you think that's a good uh, idea? Yeah, I'm looking quite forward to using it. Um, was it. I've also been watching the sessions because I think at one point I might end up um, dissecting the O data stuff that you've built because um i think one of the problems that me and paul are interested in solving is you have global ef query filters mm -hmm. and so what it would be nice to say is like when you start i don't know so in our case when you start with an invoice and you expand into a bucket so it'd be nice to go to say like a bucket invoice service and say hey apply all of the rules i care about mm -hmm. and Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And by the way, there is a lot of like a lot of these services, like whatever we put here, whatever broker we put here behind the expression or behind the uh, OSQL uh, service. Hey, Sam, how are you doing? 
<laughs> so so these two brokers here, they're great and everything. They'll do the job, but we're gonna have to have a spin-off, right? Like just like spin-offs in the uh, series and movies and stuff like that. We're gonna have to have a spin-off <laughs> where we go and say, Oh, let me tell you a story about this thing. You know, just like the Marvel universe, right? And we basically want to take care of uh, these and actually restructure them. This is where Sam comes in with a lot of experience and say, yeah, this is how I built it. You know, how can we get something, you know, outside of the box that's that's better than that. So Sam, you know, just to kind of get you caught up, you know, this is just a quick recap. You'll be able to kind of also watch it in the recording, but I was just showing uh, Callum here the where we are, where we're headed. You know, I think we have what we need in terms of foundation services to get an O token, right? Turn it into a a SQL expression, take that SQL expression, turn it into an expression, shoot it back from the other side, and then apply that as a query. We want to also do the other way around. What we want to do is that we want to be able to receive an expression, uh, break it down into SQL, and then take that SQL and turn it into an OData, an OData query. Okay? That basically fulfills this thing that you and I talked about literally last year, exactly around the same time. So it's been like 365 days where we basically went and said, I want to get an OData query and shoot it from the other side as an OData, as an OData query. Sam, Sam, you're quiet. You're, you're like a sphinx. Say something. <laughs> Did you just wake up? I made it at 9.30. No, so. I not just wake up. What 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 is it? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. It's good to I see you. I just came back from outside. From outside. Okay. Probably a little bit later. Is it still raining outside? Is it still kind of... You know, cold. It's cloudy. Pretty, pretty much like London, Callum. You know, not, yeah. not so much difference. Hey, Callum. Hi, Sam. Sam, yeah. have you met Callum before? No, I believe this is Callum, our first time. Callum works time. with Paul. Where are you Callum from? Where, where are you? Ah, the land of the tea drinkers. London. <laughs> la la land of the tea drinkers, London. Or, or England, <laughs> you know. In England. Yeah. England. <laughs> England. You yeah, know, I, after playing after playing so much PlayStation Ragnarok, you know, this this um, during this vacation, I'm starting to speak like Mimir. He he has like this little <laughs> I don't know if it's Scottish or Irish. I brother. I <laughs> I knew <laughs> I knew you can fight. <laughs> I think it's like a mix of the two. I've been trying to like play it um earlier because um I've gotten to the bit just before the final fight, so I'm trying to find all the ravens and I'm just like <laughs> help me. <laughs> I, I, I got I got I got I went up to forty two ravens and then the rest of them I have no idea where they are. But we'll we'll get to them. We'll get all <laughs> Odin's ravens. We'll get to them and they're annoying. You know, when you go back to your is it Nefelheim or something yeah. like that? Yeah, you go in there and they're like the the noise. They're just very noisy and annoying, you know. Uh, and it always rhymes, which is creepy. I got annoyed how um was it? I was working my way through the Berserker Greystones, and apparently you can only get them all once you complete the story. And I was like, Aww. what? Ah, I wasted uh, hours in this. <laughs> I, I wanted to like, was it coming to like the final boss fight? Be like completely over leveled and just wreck them. <laughs> Who's, who's your favorite character in this game, Alan? Um, I don't know. I quite like these kind of games because I'm a huge fan of, like, was it, I guess, um, mythic mythology, so to yeah. speak. Yeah, yeah. For the same reason, I'll play um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Not because yeah. I love the game, but because I love the Like the, the, Norse, the Norse mythology and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, I quite like um, Kratos because he reminds me of a guy called Tilk from a show called Stargate, which... Yeah, yeah. Kratos, oh, yeah, yeah. I I like Tyr, even though you know, spoiler alert, you know he's gonna do something <laughs> horrible at the end. But I thought Tyr, I connected more with Tyr. I felt like I'm looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying? Oh no, I can't make that joke. Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say though? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. I'm on the wrong side. I mean, yeah. there's no Asgard anymore. So, what are we gonna do, right? Mm -hmm. so, so, so anyway, so so Sam, the the plan here. This is just you know I wanted to kind of see who's gonna be able to come up and kind of join us and kind of give people an overview. Uh, the state of the unicorn. 
right? If you go back onto the source code, let's take a quick review here. And, and then again, just, just to, to make it clear, these are more like podcasts, you know, except that, you know, podcast joiners are really, really, really smart people and they write a lot of code. Um, so, so Sam, basically, you know, our foundation services with the SQL service, this is going to go and get a SQL query. Uh, the expression service in here will basically go take, take an expression, a no expression and basically turn it into, it will basically add the expression generate. What was that? That was an expression. You ex oh, that's an O expression. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, that's what's coming from the outside, you know, gets converted through the O expression service. Okay, got it, right? So we just need the, we basically, guys, we just basically need the orchestration service that will be doing this work. We can start, you know, working on that uh, in the next in the next session, uh, I just wanted to see if anyone here has any questions about the plan. Just think about this as, as our sprint plan. You know, this is basically the two components that we have left, Sam. And then I'm gonna need your help to release that alpha. You know, and that will be one of the very very few, if not the only, uh, software projects in history that has every moment of code documented in it in video discussions everything <laughs> what do you think sam any questions anything about this so where we go like the last year pattern it's a ping pong test driving yes. development yeah we have to keep going and like to cook together no homework no <laughs> only research like like the one i gave to paul remember when i told paul hey go figure out you know how you can use entity framework to take mm -hmm. raw SQL and give me back an expression, that's 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 the homework. But okay. the coding process itself, you know, I mean, what what do you think? Do you wanna do you wanna? I I don't want people to write test or write code. We could do it off camera. I'm okay with that too. Like you and I just hang it out and stuff yeah, like that. It's okay. Either way is okay for me. But mm -hmm. I'd like to hurry up that. Yeah. Okay. It's too long. <laughs> Uh, life cycle for the development. Yes. And yes. Uh, um, I think we're behind the schedule and uh, make the cured ready for customer to use. And but we are have the gap between that. Yes. Um, so 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 let me make a suggestion. Hmm. Let's have these sessions going until the alpha release. Okay. So this way people saw, at least we documented at least the entire uh, uh, process from the moment we started thinking about this idea all the way until we released an alpha release for OData. It does only select. And then after that, we could have daily sessions. You know, we could have homework on the side. We could have people working together every day to kind of push through, you know, the rest of these features and stuff like that. Just be aware that you know, once we release the alpha, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of people are going to start saying, okay, I want this feature. I want this feature. I want this feature. Okay. It's helpful so, for us to at least record our standup. You know what okay, I mean? So, the uh -huh. so the, the remaining step is uh, for the alpha is prepare the release and push it to new kit. So Get we can do it in the next session together. We need to do the orchestration service. Okay, so we need to do the coordination service. That's going to be two sessions, just two sessions, mm -hmm. two quick two sessions. sessions. And so, then, but if it's a two sessions, I think I think we can finish it within this week. Yes. Thursday, I will not Wednesday and Friday. Morning. Yes. And okay. then next week, Monday is off. So Wednesday and Friday mm -hmm. next week, you know, we basically go and say, let's release this thing. Okay. Right. I also need to write some acceptance tests. Right, acceptance tests are super straightforward, but it's really, really important that people see how thorough we go through this process. And people want to see what clean software looks like. People are super, super tired about the kitty. Let's just let me show you a quick thing on the side. Where does that fit in the big picture? What does that look like in an enterprise system? 
that's what these sessions are for. There are kitty sessions. Don't get me wrong. I'll go there and be like, oh, look, there is this cool clickety click and it does this magic. But when it comes to serious stuff, we have to use all these little tips and tricks to kind of involve that in. And, and, and just like I said, you know, deadlines is great. You know, we, we can make <laughs> deadlines, but we want to make sure that the software is written properly. Don't pressure yourself and don't stress yourself out. Stressed engineers produce stressed codes. Stressed code stresses every customer out there. So that's, let's stay cool. You know what I mean? And I'll, I'll buy a chai latte. Hey, there is a new drink at the Starbucks called the pink drink. I need you to stop by campus so I can share it with you. It's called acai. Acai drink. I wish Callum was, was, was living nearby. We can pull him over and he can see stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, friends. So Wednesday, you know, uh, I'm going to set up a session for us. I think it's either going to be a little earlier, you know, maybe 930 or something like that. I'm going to set up this session for us. And then we're going to go ahead and tackle this thing. We're at the last kind of lap. We did the big part, you know, all this help, you know, all these people, Casper, you know, Joe, you know, all the people, all the random people that used to just jump in from, you know, God knows mm -hmm. wherever. And they came to say hi and then they disappeared forever. You know, all these people have come together to push us there. And we're just about three or four sessions away. Right, Sam? Yeah, but, but Sam, the release process, unless it's like a confidential proprietary to Microsoft, I think it's not because you're pushing it under .NET Foundation. Uh, we want to document that. I want people to see what that looks like. We also want to automate it. I want to be able to go and say through the pipeline, once I hit a release, right, I can now push straight to NuGet.org. So you don't have to do that process manually. Right? Or do you have to sign it on your computer? Do you have to sign it on your computer? Signed for what? Sign for the I, package? Sign the bits. Yeah, sign the package. Do you have to do that? Usually I don't. Like with my NuGet packages, I have like 25,000 of them out there. But so if we, uh, we release the Microsoft signed and the Donate Foundation signed package to NuGet. Okay. Otherwise, we cannot push to the, you will be able to push to the, the organization. Foundation. Oh, got it. So, but okay. if it's it's it, it depends on the owner. If you just put the owner as Hassan, so we don't need to sign or do yeah. any other using any other private signing yeah. process. So it depends. So maybe uh, we mm, first half of maybe we, we can get rid of all of this process. Yeah. And make it easy, make it simple as as simple as possible to yeah to move on. Okay. Forward. Sounds good. Sounds good. Are you? Are you excited about this project? No, I still worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be doing my job right if everyone was comfortable around me. I want to know um, deeply. <laughs> yeah, during the holiday, I also uh, got request that I just have ordered query string, and I have the I querable. I know. I just want to take these inputs. And get an uh, output I I I credible again. That's yep. what I want. Yep. Okay. Yep. So the, the, the requirement is very simple. Yep. But the implementation so, and is but very the, so far we don't have a whole solution for that. This is it. This is it, Sam. Yes, this is it. But we Same. should make it easy for customer to use. Absolutely. They own, customer only have the string yep. and I credible. I queryable. That that's all. And man, output uh, I curl again. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You know, absolutely. We're going to expose a bunch of APIs. They can pass us an I queryable and we just append to it, or we can just give them an empty I queryable and they can apply it whatever they want. You got it, my friend. You know, and uh, yeah, you know, you know, thank you. Thank you both for, for jumping in today. I'm going to kind of wrap it up. We already know what's going on. Uh, Sam, I'm going to drop something on your calendar. You know, Callum, of course, I'm going to let you know, you know, what's going on. And, uh, you know, I'm actually surprised Paul didn't show up. Are you are you the new Paul? Is that what it is? Is that how <laughs> okay. Yeah, I figured that I'd be the, um, was he, it? He learned all the tricks and now he's just out? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Paul Wardy. You know, I, I like Paul. Paul even, even Sam I likes think Paul. he will join next time. Yeah, yeah, he'll he'll definitely join. He'll see this session. Oh! Like... <laughs> Sam loves Paul. I, I love Paul. He's all right. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, my friends. Uh, I appreciate you uh, both. And of course, for people watching us, you know, this is just we're kicking off that effort again. Again, just remember this YouTube channel is more than just, you know, just showing you tricks. It's a community effort. There's a standard community behind it. I'm going to drop the links so you can actually stay up to date and talk to us. You know, we are real people in the real world. We're not, you know, we're we're here. Come and tell us how we're wrong and we'll be more than happy to learn from you and, you know, and share with you what you what we learned too. And for the people watching, have questions, comments, concerns. Oh, before I forget, all our videos from now onwards, since we hit 10,000 subscribers, yay, all our videos are going to be uh, having a donate button. So it's all going to be charity donation. So even the effort that we're doing while we're building code, we're trying to make a difference in the world, you know, whether it's, you know, Doctors Without Borders or, you know, the Parkinson's, uh, Michael J. Fox organization, whatever is it out there, we want to kind of use this platform to kind of, uh, remind people that we that we are trying to do something. You know, I should have talked about twenty million dollars. Here he is. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> I'm trying to wrap and like not wrap. You know, no, I'm trying to wrap up. <laughs> what happened to his hair? <laughs> I like the idea that you just like summoned him. You just said his name enough times. It like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, your mic is broken. Nope. Yep. Can't he hear can't out. You. That's it. That that's how we're gonna end that session. He's gonna be shouting and yelling and be like, ah and I was like, <laughs> sorry, buddy, it's not there. Anyway, Paul Paul is here, but we have to wrap up. So thank you all so very much and uh I'll see you on Wednesday. Okay. Take care. Right.